Hello and welcome back. We're here today to look at one of the new Wintech Care, now known as Heart, saddles. And we're going to compare it to the things that we found in the old one that we dissected the other day. So if you're interested in looking inside one of these new Wintech saddles, sit back, make yourselves a cup of tea and hopefully enjoy. I have one of the brand new Wintech saddles. This one was gifted to me by Bates forward slash Wintech who saw the previous video where we dissected one with the care panels in it and we found a number of the airbags had failed and they were really keen to show me the changes they've made, the improvements they've made inside the new saddles. So here we are, a new saddle to look at. Now if you didn't see the other video, I think it was last week, the week before, then I'm going to pop a link up to it and then you can click on that and watch that first because it'd be dead interesting to see the improvements, well fingers crossed, the improvements that they've made. Now whilst I've been gifted this saddle, I'm in no way affiliated to Bates or Wintech and therefore this is my completely honest, as always, opinion on these saddles and the differences, if any, that we're going to find inside. I'm quite excited for this, are you? First of all, let's look at it on the outside. What differences are on the outside? Well, it's here upside down and I've got my hands on the panels and already I can tell there's a huge difference in the panels. The panel material itself is very different. It's got little spots in it. Not spots, obviously, but like little holes. Mm, not really selling it, am I? Air holes. Aeration, maybe. Let's have a look at them. So can you see, like, lots of little dots? And the material itself is much, 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 much softer. There's much more give to it. Because that is one of my concerns about the older style Wintex, is that the panels themselves, they're almost like solid, but there's definitely much more give in the material. And this is not this is not even about what's inside yet. This is not about the air, this is not about the softness of the air or anything like that. This is just about the material. This is called the panel here underneath, and this is the panel material. And they are significantly squishier squashier, more forgiving, more comfortable already. And I don't know if you remember, but that old Wintec saddle that we looked at, the panels were really like rounded. So like imagine um, a rolling pin. Imagine a rolling pin. They were almost like a rolling pin down the horse's back, weren't they? They were really curved and not very forgiving and not very soft and squishy. So they were curved and yet look at this. On these panels, much, 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 much flatter, which is good. And I don't mean flat as in like for straight backs. I mean flat like this way. They are not rounded. So they're not gonna cause a pressure point down the center here. The whole of the panel is gonna sit onto the back much better. So they've definitely really, really considered the panel design on these new saddles. They're broader, they're softer, there's much more give to them, and they're flatter like this. They're not rounded and hard. So we're going to get a much more even pressure already. So already, lots of ticks in the boxes here for Wintech forward slash baits. Already, they've really, really, really changed something. The panels. And it's these panels that sit on your horse's back. It's these panels, you know, the tree has to fit, etc., etc. But these panels are what gives that cushioning between the tree and your horse. So, tick in that box. Well done, Bates, forward slash Wintech. Another difference that we can see is here, it now says heart, H A R T, instead of care, C A I R. <laughs> I don't know why they've changed the name. It's cute though, it's got a heart on it. Heart stands for. Horse and Rider Technology, whereas CARE, you know what that stood for? Something about AIR, I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. So they've changed the CARE branding now. It's now Heart Horse and Rider Technology. Don't know why they've done that. Maybe they'll tell me one day. What else have they changed? So let's have a look now underneath the flag. So we still have got three straps here. However, they have changed the way they put their straps on. So on the old standard GP saddles, they just had a normal standard three strap system. Now, girth strapping is a bit of a mm, 
I don't want a minefield. Girl strapping can be way more confusing than you realise because everyone looks and they think three straps are all the same, but they're not all the same. Again, I've done a video about that. These are not the normal three standard girthing. So on the previous older one, there was your normal three GP straps. And they came from the centre of the tree, one, two, three. However, this saddle now has done um, similar to lots of other um, adjustable saddles now. They've made it so you can move your girth straps around, which is really cool, because it means you can wiggle and change and swap them around. Also means if one of them cracks or snaps or breaks, you can just swap it for a new one by literally sort of slotting it in to one of these little dangly bits. Now the new girthing system isn't a normal standard three girthing system, because actually this strap here at the front, this little first bit of webbing strap dingle dangly thing that this strap is on here, is the point strap. This is your normal first strap, this is your normal third strap, and this here could be a balance strap if we were to move this onto there. So they've really widened up your, your potential for different girth straps. And it means now that we can change the girth straps without having to take the whole saddle apart and put new webbings on. They're there all ready for us to change the straps around. Genius. They still do have the synthetic straps. Two things about the Wintech straps that I think do with looking at a little bit closer are the synthetic material. I much prefer a leather strap, personally, because I think that there should be a break point on the saddle and leather straps are a break point in case you get entangled in a gate or something like that and you want something to snap somewhere, you want your girth strap to snap. Um, and synthetic ones don't do that. Synthetic ones also have the tendency to crack a little bit. I will say that they've obviously considered the material that their straps are made out of, but these, this material certainly doesn't feel as cracky, is that a word? Cracky? As easily cracked as the previous material. There's, it, it, there's definitely a more leather-like feel to it, definitely. But the other thing that they haven't addressed yet, which drives me mad, and no one else has probably even noticed it, is that their first hole is about six foot up the strap. So you know when you're doing the girth strap up, you know you can, you can just about get it into, you know, you've got, if you've got a horse that really puffs out, for example, and you can just about get your strap in and you try to do it up and then you can't quite get it to the first hole. Well, on these saddles, the first hole is six foot away, so good luck with that. But other than that, they've definitely, definitely reconsidered the material that their straps are made out of. They definitely are a slightly nicer synthetic material for sure. They've obviously upgraded this velcro -y bit because how many of the old Wintech saddles have you seen that don't have knee blocks on because they've fallen off long ago because the Velcro-like material wasn't quite velcro -y enough? Well, I can tell you this Velcro... Bear with! This Velcro is very sticky, that was very stuck on. So again, they've kept the Velcro knee blocks, which is really good because it means you can change your knee block, move it around, different miles can move it back, forwards, up, down, whatever. What else under the flap? On the underside of the flap here, it's kind of like a material. And I will say, from coming from my house into my shed and coming down here, I've obviously carried it on a jumper that has some hair on it, dog hair, and the hair has stuck to it. So that might be a bit of a pain to keep hair free, that bit there. But you never see that bit because it's under your flap. Top of the flap, they have, we have got here, a slightly moulded knee block. Can we see that there? Does that show on camera? Ugh. Oh, that's better. So we can see here, there's a slight mouldedness, slightly cupped knee block. So they've thought about then um, making that knee block a little bit more secure by cupping the material around it, which is really nice. They've kind of cupped it around and it's got like, you know, it's not a crease, but it's like a cup, it's cupped, bent, snuggled in around it, which is nice. Um, the knee pad material is lovely and squishy. I can imagine this would be quite comfortable underneath your knee because it's very squishy. Again, the synthetic material on the top, much improved seat material. I don't know if you remember the last, the older Wintex, so they're like, it's like a mirror on the seat, you know, you slide around all over the place. This has definitely got some texture and some grip to it. Yeah, so that's an improvement too. So, so far we've definitely improved the panels underneath. We've definitely improved the girthing system with the interchangeable girth straps, and we've definitely improved the seat material and the knee pads and the moldedness of the knee pads. Slight improvement on the girth straps, but still not leather, which would be another big tick in the box. The most important thing, I forgot. How can I forget the most important thing? The most important thing is what kind of horses will this saddle fit? Well, we've still got the interchangeable gullet bar system in the front. Great, tick. That's what Wintech are known for. 
But do you, have you ever heard like people say, oh, Wintex are on banana trees? And what they mean by that is that the old Wintex used to be like, so imagine we're looking at this side on like this. The win old Wintex used to be like a little bit boing, like a little bit banana -y. They would have some curve to them, so they'd rock around on a lot of horses. They'd either tip forward or tip back or kind of seesaw around a little bit. Unless, of course, you're putting it on a horse whose back shape that fitted. But there's not that many horses with back shapes that shape really so they have thought about that and they have made this tree a much much better shape it's much flatter it's much wider through the back of the panels area so it's designed now to fit a much wider range of horses for sure i have no doubt at all that this tree and these panels will fit way more horses than the previous ones and now we've got to the bit that you've all been waiting for what well, i've been waiting for okay just me maybe we're going to look inside we're going to unscrew it take it to bits and look at those airbags and see if the airbags have changed at all if there's anything internal at all that has changed the first thing that we do to open up one of these saddles is unscrew this little screw here by the d-ring now these new versions have got something genius on them the little d-ring is screwed in with its own little screw it's because i don't know about you but when i undo these normally in the older versions you unscrew the screw and the d-ring comes off with it and then you drop the d-ring and off it scuttles and it runs off to start a new life somewhere else and you never find the d-ring again the d-ring now is attached to the saddle genius well done wintech forward slash baits so let's get this undone screw out d-ring still attached genius and let's just hope that I don't drop this so this can run off and make a life of its own. Now that both the screws are out, we just open up the front. Just slide that point out of its little point pocket. Do you remember, on the previous video, we had broken points. If you look here now, the point of the tree is no longer a little bit of plastic just stapled on, it's actually part of the tree. So this point here, which sits in the point pocket at the front of the saddle, is no longer one of the little flimsy ones, it's a much, much, much more sturdy point. So this is another tick in the box for super duper improvement that has been made. They're also nice rearward facing points, so they're not forward facing, they face slightly backwards, which is really good because it means they face away from the horse's shoulder. Good stuff, good stuff indeed. I can already see some differences in here, but we're gonna talk about that when we've got the back off. I'm not gonna film taking the back off because you guys don't need to know how to do this and it's a bit of a faff and yeah, don't want to be encouraging you to dismantle your saddles because you'll never get them back together again. Well, I was so worried about taking it apart, I've ended up stopping, having a cup of tea, taking the dog for a walk, and then I sat down and I went to take it apart and I needn't have been quite so worried because actually it was so much easier, more pleasurable to take apart than the last one. I don't know if you remember the last one, but on the last video when I took it apart, I ended up with a rusty staple stuck in my finger. Not on this one, because there isn't a staple in sight. The backs are no longer stapled on, so they used to have like hundreds, bazillions, eight, eight to two million thousand gazillion staples all the way around the back, stapling the panel onto the saddle. Not anymore. Now they've got like the special system going through here, which is basically like a, like a metal wire thing runs around and it's clipped in place, which holds it under tension. So when you undo the clips, it all comes undone so much easier so much more pleasurable i didn't choke to death on rust dust and i didn't get a staple stuck in my finger bonus so there we go another tick in the box for them here now what should we look at first the tree part or the panel part i think let's look at the tree part first because the panel part is a part of the airbags and that's a really interesting bit so let's get the tree out of the way have a look at the tree see what they've done with the tree so here we go this is the tree off the panels so here is the tree this is the tree the underside of the tree and again like before it's a, on a plastic tree and that is because it's adjustable at the front and to have that huge amount of adjustability the plastic does help also it helps maintain the lightweight nature of the saddle but the tree itself is a much 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 sturdier version of the previous tree so we'll be really pleased to hear that that system i was talking about whether with the wire that kind of is intention around here that's here this is it the bit that it attaches to here so you can see no staple holes no staples here this is 
done now with screws, clips and a wire tensioner. Brilliant. Much more modern, much less archaic, much better. When we see here, when we look under here, we can quite clearly see the girth strap configuration. So this is it upside down. So when we were talking about that three strap girthing earlier, we can see here that the front strap clearly comes from behind the point. So this is the point, this is the underside of the point that we were looking at earlier. The point strap clearly comes from the point. This would be a normal first strap, in this case it's a second. There's a gap where the second strap would be. This is therefore your normal third strap. And this here is a balance strap and we can see how far back on the tree that balance strap sits. And that's really good. I like a nice setback balance strap personally because it gives you lots of balance. So there's not really much else to report on the tree, so let's get into looking at the panels because that's the exciting bit because that's where the airbags live. So let's have a look at the panels. So in these panels is where the airbags live. So the airbags that these saddles are famous for live in here in the panels. And in the last video we found that three out of the four airbags had failed, sadly. It was a very old saddle. Now the first thing that we notice when we flip the panel upside down is no more staples. Do you remember on the last video the panels were stapled in and I thought well, that's a bit risky using all those staples down here when you've got airbags in there. No more staples. Now, see that? It's Velcro. Now, why is it Velcroed in and not stitched in? Well, that is because on these new Wintech saddles and bait saddles, they have a system where we can insert little shims into the tree. We can pull up these little Velcro tabs and we can insert little shims between the airbags and the tree. I don't even remember, but on the last video I said that one of the issues with the care system with the airbags in is that it was unlike flocking, you couldn't sort of lift up the front or lift up the back or put bits of flocking in here and there to give it a lift and support. If your horse has dropped a little bit of muscle at the front because he's been out of work for a while and your saddle has started to tip forward and on a flock saddle we had put a little bit of flocking in there, but we couldn't do that with the care ones because they had sealed airbags in them. But now they've thought about that. Brilliant. Tick, 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 tick. So they've now put this Velcro down here so we can open it up and we can put little shims in. And that means that we can lift the front or lift the back or lift the side and basically do similar to what we would do with flocking. The difference being that the shims are sort of a similar size to the airbag, whereas with flocking we can be a little bit more specific. But on the whole, it's a fantastic idea and it's one of the really good improvements they've made. Let's get inside and have a look at the airbags. I'm so excited. Now to get into the airbags, I've had to unvoid one of the, some of the factory seals. So don't ever do this yourself because if you do this yourself, your saddle will no longer be covered by its warranty. Oh, looky in here. Airbag one, airbag two. Sorry airbags, I'm gonna have to. So, like the old saddle, they have airbags in the front and airbags in the back. They have two in the front, one on each side, two in the back, one on each side. And they're a very similar shape to the previous ones, but these ones have got significantly more like volume to them. They're so much more ooh, squishy, squashy, fluffed uppy. They're just, there's just so much more volume to them. And when we look around here at the edges, the sealed edges, the ceiling looks to be much better. It looks to have a much more of a lip, therefore they're probably less likely to fail or burst. Another really good thing about them, I think, is that they're tapered. Can we see that tapering there? So the edges are tapered, which means that when they sit together, they sit like that, so they kind of create an equal amount of like volume the whole way across whereas when they are when they have like a really definite sort of square edge and they overlap you end up with a bit of bulk in the middle and sometimes on the saddles you're supposed to run your hands down the panel and feel that little lump in the middle but this excellent it's really good tapering here they kind of lock together like that now and they sit together really well so that's fabulous so i think that's a massive improvement that they've made here with the air with the airbags it almost feels like i won't cut this open because it's a new saddle and that would just be sacrilegious but it almost feels like there's like um you can feel the actual foam inside itself because it's not just air it's air and foam but the foam inside itself is cut on a wedge i don't know how well that shows on the camera but it's like wedgy 
<laughs> wedgie. So it's got a wedgie and it's got a wedgie and combined two wedgies fit together really nicely. So within this panel here, we have a neoprene lining. Can you see that here? And then which is the dark gray. And then on the light gray, it's like a foamy, squashy, squishy, squashy stuff. And then, so basically when you put your saddle on your horse's back on these new versions of saddle now, you have this little squishy, squashy panel which has got squishy squashy foam in it. On top of that, you've got a neoprene lining, which really helps protect the airbags and kind of give them some support. Then you have these lovely new volumin voluminous, volume, voluminous, 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 full of volume airbags. And then you have so another layer of neoprene and then you can have your shims if needed. So that's fantastic, I mean brilliant. They've really, really, really addressed the issues that they have. The airbags are so much more substantial, vol voluminous, and they have really addressed, it looks to me like the issue around the ceiling at the edges as well. I was really worried about making this video, I have to be honest, because when I made the last video, Bates forward slash Wintech contacted me and they asked if they could send me out a new saddle to look at. And they 100% didn't say that I had to make a video from it. And because they didn't say I had to make a video from it, I thought, oh, they're so lovely. That's so lovely. And I was a bit torn because I thought, well, if they're so lovely, I don't want to do a video that's bad. But equally, I want to stay authentic and me and be honest because at the end of the day, I'm using this channel as an educational channel. I'm not an advertising channel and I will never be an advertising channel. So I didn't want to take a saddle, make a video and have to pretend that everything was okay. So I was a little bit in two minds about whether to film this um, dismantling at all. And I'm so glad I did because I found so many really good things that kind of show that they've taken on board all the issues that have occurred over the years and they really do genuinely seem to have addressed the majority of those issues and taken them on board. Um, there's still a few little things that need to be tweaked, <coughs> girth straps, but other than that I honestly think there's not much more they could do whilst having a budget level synthetic lightweight adjustable saddle. Now just to quickly recap these are the changes that I have found. Panel material much better, much softer, much squishier. Panel itself, much softer, much better shape. Gonna really sit into the horse, be more comfortable for the horse. So much better for weight distribution. The seat, the material on the seat, much better, much grippier, no longer gonna slip and slide off willy-nilly. The points, so let's not forget those points that were little bits of plastic stapled on that used to bingle, bangle, and twang off at every opportunity. They've fixed that. They've now got really good, strong, sturdy, rear-facing points on their tree. The tree itself, much better shape, will fit a much wider variety of horses. No longer is it going to be that banana shaped tree that they're known for because actually the tree is a much more universal kind of shaped tree. The airbags, now they've put in with velcro instead of staples so we can change them easily. We can shim them up on the left, on the right, on the front, on the back and then the airbags themselves are much 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 better, much more sturdy, much more volume. The girth straps now, we can they're interchangeable, we can move them around, we can have a point strap, a balance strap, a front strap, a back strap. We can do so much with a girthing, absolutely brilliant. For people like me, saddle fitters, that is ah oh, brilliant, we love it. Obviously the straps are still not leather but you can't have everything and their first hole is 16 miles up the strap but other than that I think I've done a really good job I've probably even missed some stuff out that we found I'll just rewind it and watch it again but yeah I'm really impressed and I'm really glad that I did decide to film this kind of opening up of it first time otherwise I've had to go and do it all over again please don't think I'm in any way affiliated to Bates or Wintech I would have been happy to say ah it's crap but I didn't because it genuinely isn't I hope you've enjoyed seeing inside the new Wintech saddle. For reference, that was the Wintech 500 GP saddle. In the meantime, videos coming up. We've got some more saddle dissections. We've got some videos out on the road. So if you're interested in seeing any of them, then don't forget to subscribe. And if you're desperate not to miss one, then press the notification bell as well. And you'll get a little notification when the video is released. Don't forget, I do a live video on the last Friday evening of every month. And in that you can chit and chat to me and ask questions. And on the subject of questions, if you have any questions, queries, general chit chat, comments, I'd love your thoughts about these saddles, then don't forget to put them in the comments section below. In the meantime, take care, stay safe, lots and lots of love.